Hello everyone and welcome back to Ninjago Autopsy, where I take a deeper look at the ins and outs of the Ninjago franchise. Today, I am discussing one of the greatest additions to Ninjago's lore in the history of the series. You've guessed it, it's the six virtues. No, it's not the three virtues from that other theme. It's six because Ninjago does it twice as well. What are those virtues? Where do they come from? And why are they so great? I am so glad I asked, so let's get into it. The six virtues emerged as new lore for the art of Spinjitsu from the new core shorts released by LEGO in early 2022. The six virtues are curiosity, balance, wisdom, honesty, generosity, and courage. Without a doubt, these six virtues introduce a golden age in Ninjago's lore because of how they are applied to each ninja. In these shorts, these ninja must relearn the virtues by completing grueling and challenging tasks that completely make sense in regard to past Ninjago stories. Nia curiously opens a door after hearing a mysterious sound that even the robot couldn't decipher. But the real curiosity at play is a line she makes about how she's dying to know what's behind the door, as if she knew her fate in the past season. A perfect display of our curiosity to her awareness. Secondly, balance shows us that Cole can truly balance being both a beloved protagonist in a Lego show, as well as a stereotypical anime protagonist who must endure a tragic flashback of his past before busting out some truly epic moves. Then comes wisdom. Lloyd grows stronger realizing that the best way to get to the finish line quickly is... Hmm. I'm not sure if I should read this next part. It's not really family friendly. See? I have the wisdom to restrain the truth of Lloyd's discovery with you all. Speaking of truth, while Jay is taught that no innocent should suffer because of lies, we learn that Kai honestly is a terrible character, and if he is your favorite, you should use some honesty on your end as well. Generosity comes next, with Zane ripping his arm off for a game of extreme dodgeball. I don't think he ever got it back. For someone without a heart, he sure acts like he has a big one. Finally, Kai learns that sometimes all you need is courage to will yourself to run into a terrible situation, which surprisingly is something he is teaching himself here, and not the dozens of other times he has done that in the series. Hey, he's gotta learn somewhere. In the end, the greatest lesson taught by Wu is to never trust the tea and cookies he makes, because dang, those imaginary scenarios were wild. All in all, these amazing shorts gave us the necessary lore needed to introduce the incredible six virtues of Spinjitsu. You may ask yourself, are these shorts canon? And what's up with the giant green dragon? The answer to the dragon is, I don't even know where to start with that thing. But for the question of the short's canonicity, if you are honestly curious to know how these virtues balance out the canon lore of Wu's teachings, I can courageously declare with a generous level of wisdom, you should watch the shorts and decide that for yourself. Thank you for joining me today for Ninjago Autopsy. If you liked the video, let me know with a like and don't forget to subscribe to The Six Virtues for more Ninjago content. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite virtue, and I will see you all next time.